Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, my name is Dr. Ibrar Khan, and uh, I am an associate professor uh, at the Center of Biotechnology and Microbiology, University of Peshawar. Uh, and I welcome all of you to this uh, course on immunology. Now, this particular course of immunology uh, is intended for the uh, medical students. Uh, the medical students this course uh, is also intended for the students of biotechnology the students of microbiology and uh, this course is also intended for the uh, scientists from the other field who are interested to uh, learn about this fascinating field of immunology now when you talk about the uh, immunology the first and the very basic question is do we have an immune system or you can put it the other way that what are the evidences that there is an immune system in the living organisms now the uh, uh, immune system uh, is actually a system that protects the living organisms from different uh, pathogens like the bacteria the viruses the parasite etc so uh, the first thing you need to understand is that what are the evidences that there is an immune system in the living organisms that protects these living organisms from different kind of the pathological conditions so uh, in this particular video i'm going to give you some of the uh, evidences which proves that the living organisms they do have an immune system if i give you the first evidence that uh, if you talk about the living organisms and if uh, one or more components of the immune system if that is missing i would uh, say that the immune components that we know of if one or more of these immune components if they are missing those particular individuals or organisms they are more prone to diseases as compared to their normal counterpart they are more prone to diseases now this proves that if the uh, components of the immune system if one or more component of the immune system is missing and these are making these particular individuals or organism more prone to the diseases as compared to their a uh, normal counterpart this means that there is an immune system that is protecting these living organisms from different kind of the pathological conditions now how we prove this we usually use two terms uh, when you talk about the uh, in say evidences one is known as the wild type and one is known as the mutant type these are very common terminologies that we use in biology to prove the uh, existence of something or to prove the function of a particular thing say for example uh, we use this term wild uh, which is uh, normally referred to as the normal individuals or the normal organisms so if you talk about the uh, immune system and there is a wild organism that mean that all of the components of the immune uh, system they are present and they are protecting that particular individual from pathological conditions now in the mutant form what we do is that we make one or more component uh, we change that particular component so that that is not working properly and when we change that particular component then we check for the results so if changing one or more component of the immune system makes an individual more prone to a disease that means that those particular components are required for the proper functioning of the immune system so if there are mutants for the immune system and they are making you more prone to the diseases that directly indicates that there is an immune system protecting us from different pathological conditions so this is one of the evidences which proves that there is an immune system in the living organisms that protects them from different uh, kind of the infections the uh, second example of from the evidences is 
we use the term which is known as the uh, immunodeficiency. Now this term immunodeficiency means that there is some deficiencies in the immune system of the living organisms and because of this deficiency they are more prone to diseases as compared to the uh, immunocomponent individuals. These would be the two contrasting terms, the immunocompetent. The immunocompetent mean that all of the component of the immune system, they are working properly. The immunodeficiency mean that some of the components of the immune system, they are not working properly. So if there is a deficiency in the immune system and you are more prone to the diseases, that is yet another evidence which proves that the immune system do exist in the living organism, protecting them from different pathological conditions. Now the severe cases of the immunodeficiency, they are known as the severe combined immunodeficiency. Now the uh, severe combined immunodeficiency, also known as the SCID, this is one of the most serious conditions of the immunodeficiency. And this, uh, in this severe combined immunodeficiency, what happens is that both of the B cells and the T cells of the immune systems, they are not working properly. When you talk about this immunodeficiency, maybe the B cells, they are not working, but the T cells, they are working properly. But in case of the severe combined immunodeficiency, neither the B cells nor the T cells, they are working, thereby causing a severe case of the immunodeficiency, thereby known as the severe combined immunodeficiency, because the B and the T cells, so when they combine, they make the, you can say, an immunocompetent individuals, but if both of these components, they are not working, therefore we say that this is severe combined immunodeficiency. Yet another proof of the uh, uh, presence of the immune system in the living organism is that if the uh, individual they are immunodeficient or if they are having the skid condition, they are more prone to the development of different kind of the tumors and cancers. And this has been proved extensively that those particular individuals who have a deficient immune system, who are immunodeficient, uh, they are more prone to the development of uh, different kind of the tumors as compared to the uh, immunocompetent individuals. So this is yet another proof that there is an immune system protecting us from different pathological conditions. Uh, another important evidence is the uh, autoimmunity. You may have heard this term this autoimmunity and what happens is that in an autoimmunity your immune system that recognizes the self cells by that i mean that it recognizes the cell of its own body and it reacts against it thereby creating different pathological conditions like the uh, rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis now this is an interesting evidence because if the immune system it recognizes its own cells and it destroys them creating a pathological condition you can expect a very severe kind of reaction from the immune system against the invaders like the bacteria like the viruses or like the parasites so if there is autoimmunity that directly means that there is an immune system which protects us from different kind of the uh, pathogenic organisms another important example is the graft rejection now this graft rejection, sometimes also known as the organ rejection, the organ rejection is uh, uh, when a donor donates uh, one of its body organs like the kidney to a recipient. So in most of the cases, the recipient immune system recognizes that particular organ as foreign. It acts against it and it destroys it. 
what that mean is that if that particular kidney which is also present in the recipient uh, and if that kidney is having some uh, different components which are not present in the recipient so the recipient immune system is going to recognize those components as foreign it will uh, react against it and it is going to reject it so if the recipient is uh, rejecting a graft if it is uh, rejecting you can say an organ in the body that simply means that there is an uh, active immune system present in the living organism which you do not allow the invaders or it do not allow the outer components to be present in the uh, human beings so these are some of the important examples which proves that the uh, immune system is present in the living organisms and the presence of this living organisms ensures that the human beings and the living organisms they are protected from different pathological conditions and hence they can have a normal uh, physiological conditions so if you like the video uh, please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can get the uh, notifications for the other videos in the series and share it with your friends uh, we will continue the uh, discussion in the next video and we'll talk about the uh, aminology uh, the other topics in the aminology